what is going on can sir i am back at it thank you guys so much for all the love and support for that bonus video i hope that resonated with you guys i am back with you for the february monthly reading for 2019 thank you so much for the sign of cancer let me tell you something every month y'all show up and y'all show the fuck out for me so thank you guys so much for all the love and support um to everyone that has booked a personal and private reading shout out to you thank you guys so much y'all made it possible for me to have all of these brand new decks that i have here in my camcorder which i now record from thank god so that my cell phone wouldn't blow up thank you guys so much for the love and support thank you guys um to everyone that has um went to my paypal and is given a love donation thank you all so much and also you all know that me and my family all had the flu so big shout out to all of my family them <laughs> big shout out to all of you guys to my youtube family that just sent well wishes for me and my kids to get well i love you guys for that so much i greatly appreciate it if anyone wants to book a personal and private reading um click that about tab there's a hyperlink that says scorpion Red tarot as simply book me again at scorpion Red tarot as simply book me and if you would like to give a page donation if this video resonated with you and provided any type of guidance and if you just want to send some love if you want to send a dollar two three four twenty fifty sixty well whatever you want to send um you can feel free to do that to my paypal um and again thank you so much because you guys don't have to do anything and i don't ask for anything y'all just do it merely out of love and just support and because y'all want my page to grow and i really do hope that y'all enjoy these new decks and um you know hopefully the quality is a little bit better um, uploading on this camcorder and things like that so I really do hope that the changes um, are suitable for you and you guys like it because I surely appreciate all of the love and the growth that I've been able to do and um, we're going to the moon in 2019 all right so let's get into the prayer Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer for February 2019. Thank you so much for all of the uh, changes that has happened in our life. Thank you so much for us just growing so much, period. Um, as water signs, we've all just been going through um, a very tumultuous emotional roller coaster since 2018. And... I feel like the sign of cancer is finally getting their emotional situation together and just kind of getting on top of their things and just taking charge and just ain't taking no shit. And I just thank you so much for um, putting a, a cloak of protection over the sign of cancer and everyone that they love and um, allowing us to just feel comfortable to just move forward and just be the best that we can be like the Navy. <laughs> anyway so um thank you so much father god for protecting us and looking over us please give us guidance for the sign of cancer for february 2019 um thank you so much to you father god to our spiritual guides to our ancestors that look over us in the universe for moving certain things out of our path that didn't need to be there we didn't have the strength to move ourselves thank you so much for um universal law and just helping us learn universal law and as above so below so that we can put the best things into the universe to get the best things back in return please give the sign of cancer guidance for the month of february thank you so much sign of cancer guidance for February. Thank you. February 2019. Thank you so much for all your guidance in the past, present, and future. Thank you. You didn't drop the burden and you're healing your heart and the sun is finally shining in your life, Cancer. Hallelujah. I told you Cancer was getting it together. All right. They moving forward. 
and they're moving forward in life and they're walking away from a situation that is no longer serving them but not without the aid and help of somebody else they are finally seeing their self and their star potential and um they're cutting out yeah they're cutting out certain things that are no longer serving them no no longer a white right, cancer Cancers released and dropped the burden of something that was no longer serving them. I feel like they put a lot of passion and effort in trying to carry this all the way to the finish line. But they realized like they are getting more battered and beaten up and looking a complete fucking idiot than anything. It's just, you know, I felt like they look more of a fool carrying all of these damn wands and even thinking that they can carry all of this shit. I just feel like they felt like they look stupid. And they picked up more than what they can really bargain, what more than what they bargained for. And they realized it's time to put this shit down. It's just, you know, like as much as I wanted this to be successful and I wanted to carry this through fruition, like it's not worth me looking the fool, you know. And I feel like uh, cancer is healing from third party heartbreak. This could be, and, and, and honestly, because I've been doing these readings for a while, I know that a lot of this heartbreak, they've caused it their self. They bought it on their self. But if this was not you, if you were not the cancer that you were the one that was cheating and you broke somebody else's heart and, you know, because that's the story for a lot of you guys. It seems like cancer was the one who brought the third party energy into the relationship and the person that they were with left them and now cancer is heartbroken okay so i feel like right now you know if that is the story i feel like cancer has finally dropped the burden of trying to keep up this facade of trying to hold on to this third party relationship here um i feel like they have finally healed their heart from the heartbreak of that person in the past that they were carrying this burden of holding on to this heartbreak for so long you know like they just really couldn't let go that this person from their past really really left them because I feel like they they broke this person's heart so many times so many times so many times cancer really did not think that this person was going to get the fuck up and leave them and this person really did and after this person did Cancer was the one that carried the burden of this heartbreak. And I feel like Cancer is finally releasing themselves from that. I feel like they're finally forgiving themselves for everything that they've done. And it's like, all right, the sun is finally shining in their life. And they're ready to come out and play. I feel like they feel rebirth. They feel almost childlike. You know, they have a lot of faith and they just know that things are going to be okay. And I feel like it all had to do with them forgiving their self for this heartbreak that they, you know, created and forgiving yourself for doing what they did, you know, and they finally released the burden of carrying that burden of that guilt. It, 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 they finally released that burden of that guilt. Not only that, but of course, cancer always got somebody in the trick bag helping them. They always got somebody on the side. They always got a slide. Of course, they have someone who aided them in releasing of this heartbreak of course of course are we surprised no we're never surprised okay however cancer is finally like taking a dip in those spiritual waters i feel like they really just did a spiritual cleanse and they are finally seeing their self for who they are what they contributed to all of the drama and they're realizing that they needed to cleanse their energy and you know like immerse their self in some positive energy and some positive thoughts and you know like step their faith up <laughs> like for real they, they they're really stepping their faith up and they're like putting more positivity into their body and they're cutting out old behaviors like whatever was mentally plaguing them that was keeping them in a stagnated energy i feel like they're cutting like this is them realizing 
their purpose and, and how things are supposed to be in life and what true happiness is. And I feel like this old behavior and this old patterns and stuff that cancer used to be in, I see them just cutting that shit out. Like, so if there's old people that they used to hang with and just whatever it was that was a trigger for them in this old lifestyle that was constantly keeping them in this third party energy type of thing, I feel like that... The toxicity of that behavior has finally been illuminated. And I feel like they're just like, look, I just had this new bitch now. I don't want to fuck this one up. You know, I don't want to fuck this one up. So I'm just going to go ahead and just stop. And just and just stop. You know what I'm saying? All of that drama and all of the stuff that I was creating. Because I'm not about to lose another one. Okay. They feel... Okay. I definitely, like I said, you see someone is clearly here aiding cancer to shore, to safe refuge. So there is someone in cancer's life. There's always somebody else in cancer's life. We know that. We know that. However, I feel like currently at this moment right now, even though cancer is um, with somebody, this person that aided them, you know, this person that helped them re, you know, kind of get their life back. You know, this person helped them see the sunshine, okay? That's all fine and well, but at the same time, Cancer still wants to be in a moment of solitude right now. Because I feel they have had an awakening. And they see what they did to push away their divine feminine. And I feel cancer, even though that they were helped and they were aided by this person and they are happy. I feel like at the same time, the divine feminine is still very much so in their heart and in their mind. Like they think about their divine feminine, the one that they, you know, they want to balance the scales. I feel like they really want to balance the scales with their divine feminine. And they've come to being in this place of solitude that they were in. Because when they decided to put this burden down, when they decided to put this burden down, they didn't have anything or anybody but their self to sit there and think about everything that they brought to the table to cause the demise, you know, in the, in this, in this, that, they had nothing to do but to sit there and think about everything that they brought to the table that caused destruction and this heartbreak and this betrayal. And it's like once they really got a chance to sit back and see everything that they needed to be seen and the light was illuminated so that they can see what they needed to see. Now they get it. They get why their divine feminine walked away from them. They see it. They see it. This this woman didn't have faith in this situation anymore. And she had to get away from this toxic situation and immerse herself in spiritual energies and, and just holiness like literally just like a holy bath cleansing she needed to cleanse herself of the situation because she could not find balance there anymore she was not being herself and that's why she had to cut this is this is why the divine feminine had to cut cancer out and cancer finally gets it now they finally they finally finally get it now they had to be by herself they had to Get this awakening to understand what the Divine Feminine went through, what she felt, and how they can balance this karmic scale. Uh, please give me some additional guidance. What's going to take this balance of... The scales is true commitment. True commitment. But there's a barrier in Cancer's life right now. Because I told you Cancer is constantly with somebody already. And that's the lesson that they... That's the true lesson of this whole journey for Cancer. Is what it takes to be committed. 
what it takes to be committed. You know, you have to be by yourself sometimes to really see things for what they are and for who they are and who you are and what you what you cause in this situation. All right. They love the divine feminine. The one that they lost, that's the one that they really love. This person that helped them ashore, they just helped them ashore. I don't think that they really love this person, even though that they did awaken them and they did help them to find happiness again. They still, in their heart, feel like they need to balance the scales with their divine feminine. It's right there. They really want to be able to truly commit in this situation, but they have to balance some scales. It's something that they need to see within their self. Okay? And that's why, like I said, this is that star card. This is them bathing their self in the spiritual waters and pouring it back. You understand? They have dipped into the spiritual pool and they're trying to pour that water which they're learning, which they're bathing themselves with, they're trying to cleanse themselves and they're trying to pour it back into the world. So he, so he can have some of that foundation in, in his world as well. Not just spiritually, but physically. That's what he needs in order to balance the scale in his life and to be able to really cut out the bullshit and be committed because they know that the divine feminine is not going to accept anything less than this commitment and that is the barrier and that is the true blockage i don't feel like cancer has really got to this point where they're really truly able to cut these things out i feel like they're still in a point where they're learning lessons they're not ready yet. Cancer is not ready yet. Please give me some guidance in regards to uh, what Cancer is dealing with in the shadows on um, this barrier. And what is the karmic, the, the balancing of the karmic scales? What is this barrier? What is the lessons? Please give us guidance in regards to what Cancer is dealing with in the shadows, please. For the month of February. Thank you so much. Please give us guidance. What does this say? Medicating. This person also has a, 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 a drinking problem. This person ever drinks a whole lot or is into some type of drugs. What does this say? Pitiful, envious, scorned, pitiful. I feel like cancer is I feel like cancer is just medicating right now and I feel like the person that they're with at this current moment is just someone that is just putting a bandage on the situation and that is just like maybe is that it that's all you need to say all right that's it what is this power secretive Independent, yeah. All right, so this is what I'm getting. I feel like the person that Cancer is currently with right now, I feel like they're not truly happy in this situation because if they were truly happy in this situation, they really wouldn't be wanting the solitude and they wouldn't be drinking as much as they are. I feel like they feel overindulging and drinking and smoking and just anything that can just kind of like numb the pain right now. I feel like they're drinking themselves to sleep because they are still thinking about the divine feminine and I feel like they are envious right now that the divine feminine actually got the fuck up and left like they are envious and they are upset and they are mad right now because if they can't believe that she would get up and try to leave and find happiness without me and this person is scorned this person is scorned and that is why they are medicating like that that is why they are so upset and they can't find happiness and they just feel pitiful right now because it's just like, how could I have screwed up so bad? You know, I feel like the that um, the sign of cancer, they were looking for some type of power. I feel like the sign of cancer, they find power in options. I feel like having a lot of people fawn and, and swoon over them. I feel like it made them feel powerful and it made them feel wanted. 
and holding this secretive behavior like they wore a mask so well and they were so well at hiding these secrets they thought that they would never ever get caught you know but at the same time they did get caught and they realized just how dependent and how much they really did love this person that walked out of their life they were dependent on that love they were dependent on this person's security and i feel like without this person they just feel lost you know and and, and as you can see this person is staying up late at night on their phone looking you know so i feel like this person is still up looking at your internet and stuff like that. They're still dependent on your energy regardless if you're there or not, the Divine Feminine. This person that you're with, the Cancer, or have you are the Cancer. You, I'm sorry. Ever, ever that and or you are the cross watcher that is dependent on the cancer's energy and you just never thought that cancer would get up and leave and just medicate him right now and envious and feeling scorned that cancer is no longer in their life and don't want to be with them anymore the witch at the end of the world and the important end to a new beginning all right. All right. So let me read this card. This says, let me turn this down real quick. So this says, um, the witch at the end of the world. Storms are about to fly. I cannot read for shit. Excuse me, y'all. It says storms fly about her. Electrical whips crack through in heavy air with bites of fire. And she sits among them, hurling her hourglass, holding everything together to the force creating the change has done its work. When the witch at the end of the world makes her appearance in the spread or divination casting, you will know that something Time has come. There can be no more delaying for the change has begun. So the best thing for you to do now is to prepare for this change. Find um, solutions to challenge. Find solutions to challenges that will come up when they come. You will be fine, by the way. And you will... Uh, Ah, I cannot read, Lord Jesus. Help me third grade education. Um, so the best thing for you to do now is to prepare for this change. Find solutions to challenges that will come up when the changes come. You will be fine, by the way, and all will be well. But there will be a time for seeming chaos. And difficulty. If you prepare and ready to let go and change and let some things in, the witch's countdown will not affect you as it will affect others who refuse to acknowledge that changes are coming and be fearful of its inevitable approach. There is nothing to fear but plenty to prepare for. You will be safe and well and very ready to embrace this new world. The witch at the end of the world speaks. I am not wicked, but I am a witch. And changes are made when the world bends and shifts. I hold this hourglass to you. So now you know that it is time for an ending. And it's almost up. You can see the signs all about you. The strange weather, the hurricanes, the cyclones. The earth is changing all about us. But so many simply say I am wicked for showing you this. They blame me for what they call catastrophic. And they ignore the signs. They are with you. And it is time to be ready. We are all about to experience a huge change. And it will be for the better. But while we hold on to the old, the storms will blast us and the lands will shift. Self-healing will look like destruction. The divination message. The experience is important and significant to rearranging your life on a personal or global level. Affecting powerful 
sources and systems in relationship, change in law, legal systems, and economy, and values and beliefs. There needs to be able to live more simply and more harmonious in nature. There is nothing to be frightened of. Only a voyage weather only a voyage to weather you will make it through to the other side of the storm. The changes are part of the journey. The fifth dimensional world. The shift is more peaceful. The shift is for a more peaceful planet where the shadows and the light are loved and accepted. All is well. The little witch will keep the world safe until we reach the other side of these changes. All is well, all is well, all is well. So there is major changes going on and major shifts going on right now for the sign of cancer. And it's really time to change this behavior that, you know, if it really is has been an ongoing cycle of third party energy on and on and on and on like they can't move into another situation until they have another you know it's just an ongoing cycle it's time for certain things to change and it really is time for them to immerse themselves in the spiritual waters and pour some of that water onto the earth so that they can find balance and you know, not only just in spirit, but just in the tangible world. You know what I'm saying? So that is. Okay, so that is the Ace of Swords. Um, the Ace of Wands. Basically, um, a new beginning and the world card in reverse. What is this? Keep following the same side. So, it, is this, yeah, this is delaying new beginnings and recycled patterns. And that was on the other side when it fell on the floor. In a tower moment. Alright, so this is basically what I'm getting here for the sign of cancer so there is a delay in new beginnings for you right now okay because i do feel like there is a delay in cancer really acknowledging um certain aspects of who they are and you know really cutting it out you really have to cut it out you have to drop the burden and you really have to put light to the situation and you have to cut it out if you're still moving from one situation into the next into the next and so you still feel like you need someone to aid you to a better land you don't need a motherfucker to aid you nowhere that's the problem that's the problem there's no strength in this arm look at his arm look at the arm right here on this one and look at the arm on this one do you see the strength in the muscle there this person realized that they have to burn down old foundations in order for new beginnings they're ready to do that this arm is not it don't it don't have that much force and that much power it's like i want new beginnings but at the same time i'm just letting it soar above me i'm not really doing what i you know it's like the sun is setting on this new beginning. It's like your time is running out. You understand? And everything is going to keep soaring above your head. And the sun is going to set on this new beginning. If you really don't. Like truly get to a point where you are changing. You know. Changing the cycle. And moving towards something better. Do you see? Instead of it being a little reef, it is a snake eating its tail. It's basically saying it's recycling. It's like a never-ending story. It's just keep going around and around and around and around and around. You're really not moving forward. You're, you're kind of turning your back to change and just thinking, oh, well, this situation didn't work. I'll just move on to another situation. I'll try to do better. But you're not. Like, you keep repeating the same fucking patterns do you understand and you're not really rushing forward and trying to deal with any level of truth and acknowledgement in what it is that you are doing to contribute this and why these chapters are not closing you have to work hard to close it do you understand all right this is the tower 
Either you are going to do it or the universe is going to do it for you. You can't continue to try to empty out everything in the inside and you know, you see how these sphinx, they're trying to hurry up and rush and run away. Know on the other side of this card that the universe sees everything. The universe sees everything. The universe sees everything. And either you, you know, try to jump ahead of things and abruptly change before the universe, is make, the universe makes changes for you that you don't see coming. You know? But honestly, I see that you know what you need to change and you're trying to avoid it. And I see that you're emptying out the foundation of what you had and what's been causing you all of these problems and your sphinx are trying to move away. This is the sphinx from the chariot. Okay, so that is also representing of cancer. All right. All right. So what's on the other side of this coin? Alright, so this here, mm -hmm. so this here is the Empress. You feel like your Empress has turned your back on you and, you know, you feel like your Empress has turned her back on you and that you are not in a place of favor with her anymore. Um, she doesn't see that anything in this situation can blossom. She can't build any here, anything here. She can't create. She can't build. She can't grow. And this is a young empress. Like she is very beautiful. And she has yet to begin her work in the world. And right now she's had to turn her back on cancer. Because I don't feel that. You 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 didn't you didn't give her the energy that she needed where she felt like she can create and that she could be abundant and things could be fruitful and grow here. Like she wanted new development and that's not what you gave her. That's not what you gave her. Um you were too busy looking elsewhere, trying to see other lands that you can conquer. And other lands that you could create in. And you didn't really give that empress um, an offer quick enough for her to feel like it was worthy of her staying. And that's why she literally left with everything that she had, you know. She took the coat on her back. And she went forward into the sunshine. And she had to leave these things behind. So these are the things that you need to come to terms with, Cancer. And you really can't hold yourself back anymore. Um, wallowing and worrying about the mistakes from the past. Okay, Either you come to terms with it. And you learn what you need to learn and understand that it's not the end of the world, but it is the end of those cycles and that you need to change with those cycles. And if you don't change with the cycles, the Lord is going to make something come and shake, rattle and roll your ass. Because like I told you, the world sees everything. The world will con continue to destroy your foundations. And you and the little bitch that you with now... They will chuck you in that bitch about that goddamn tower and make you start over again. If you don't get the lessons that you're supposed to get, you know, and stop creating these shaky ass foundations that are built on nothing. That are built on nothing. That keep getting destroyed by your behavior. You have to change, okay? And you have to truly understand and come to clarity. You cannot... Turn your back to your behavior and continue to feel like the goddamn victim 
Do you understand what I'm saying? And realize now how you're not victimizing and hurting other people. You have to come to an awakening. That's why it's like you kind of want to be in some solitude right now. Because it's like I keep going through the same thing over and over and over and over and again. And I honestly feel like in a situation with the person that aided them. I feel like you're constantly in a place with them. But maybe you're feeling unsatisfied at this current moment. Okay? And you feeling like the set. The sun is setting on this new beginning and you're possibly ready to soar as well in this situation. The only way for you to find true happiness is you to put a little bit of muscle behind you actually trying to change. Put some muscle into it and burn down old foundations and old pattern and old habits that have been doing nothing but bringing you nothing but toxicity. Toxic, toxic, toxicity. You can't keep medicating the situation you're drinking yourself to death number one your health is about to get fucked up keep drinking like that being envious and scorn because someone left you because you didn't know your true value and that's what you're trying to figure out now you are trying to get it together cancer you're trying to balance yourself you were trying to get that faith like I said you were trying to balance the scales okay because right now you feel pitiful. And you're just ready for all this to change. Listen, y'all. This has been your reading. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all enjoyed the new decks. Let me know how y'all feel about the new decks and everything like that. If you would like a personal or private reading, you can go ahead and holler at your girl, Scorpion Reds Tarot. Hit that About tab. All right. There's a hyperlink down there. And um, you can book with me. All right. Using my booking page. Just simply book me. And, um... Thank you guys so much for the love and support and waiting for this late upload. Again, sorry for the late upload, but you know I got you. I love you all. I will see you in the mid-months. And make sure that y'all check out the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine readings when they get uploaded as well. Peace, love, and hair grease. I'm out.